native Seattleites have an irresistible urge to talk about the good old days, the old Seattle, and they always drop old Seattle references. You know, I've been giving this quite a bit of thought, and it is the influence that children's television has on the psyche of an entire generation. Now, now take, for example, say, old Brakeman Bill and Captain Puget. Now, they represent the fear that a child would have of a parent abandoning them by means of, say, a train or a boat. But J.P. Patches, he instilled this, this sense of security with his, with his permanent dwelling, albeit that, that dwelling was just a, a shack down by the city dump. Oh, but, what yeah, I, what I wouldn't give for a large sock full of horse manure. I mean, what do you do when you get stuck in a movie line in front of a guy like this? Hey, it's just... hey, it's a free country. I'm entitled to my opinion, you know. Yeah, but you have to shout it into my ear. And aren't you, aren't you ashamed to be pontificating like that? And, you know, and the thing is, J.P. Patches, you talk about... You don't know anything about J.P. Patches. Oh, oh, really? Well, I happen to teach a course out at the University of Washington called TV, Culture, and Clowns. I think my opinions on J.P. Patches are extremely valid. Yeah, well, I just happen to have J.P. Patches over here. Look, J.P. Patches. Well, I heard what you were saying. You know nothing of my work. How you ever became a Patches pal is beyond me. You probably watched Stan Morrison, didn't you? Didn't you, Stan Morrison? Boy, da, 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 if only da, real da, life da, were da, like da, this. Da, 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 da. You too can learn the official native Seattleite references. No, wait, we've already talked about Ivor, but remember, always mention him. That's enough. Hey, wait, this is not a way to treat the owner's best friend. Here's some other references. The gorillas. Bobo, who sat in a tiled enclosure at the Woodland Park Zoo. He's now stuffed in a museum with a smile on his face. And Ivan, who worked at the B&I Circus Store in Tacoma for 27 years. It didn't seem wrong at the time. The Hydroplane. A Seattle tradition and an excuse for the whole town to get drunk in their boats and get naked and drunk on the shore. Most people's memories are a little hazy, but everyone remembers slow-mo flipping. He went completely around. I don't know whether Lewis still on the boat or not. There it is. And everyone claims they saw the original 707 do a barrel roll over the hydroplane crowd. Everyone in Seattle saw this. Nobody knows how Seafair started, but everyone is scared of the Seafair pirates, especially their relatives. Please and this the is Stan Borison. Because this period Sonrian is the place where the clams are the best. The last surviving Scandinavian dialect comedian. Well, if you ever catch your dog chewing up the dictionary again, you better just take the words right out of his mouth. <laughs> Yeah, they still get it in Ballard. Here I am, it's America, here I And then there's J.P. Patches and his transvestite sidekick, Gertrude. Uh, he can me... come out and kiss my hand. In the up, what, we got the big show to do today. J.P. and Gertrude began molding our minds during the Eisenhower administration in the golden years of black and white and live TV. They turned to color in the fabulous 60s and for over 20 years raised a generation with their non-educational, subversive, and totally entertaining program. They were the center of the old Seattle universe, a universe that continues to fade away.